Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I have got another indie game for you folks today. This one is called Vintage Story and I gotta, I gotta apologize to the developers of this game who, uh, who sent me a copy quite a while ago and asked me to do, uh, to, to take a look at it and maybe do a video or two on it. Um, I've actually got a little pile of, of these, these indie games that are waiting for videos to be made and um, I just keep getting more kind of urgent ones that are like being released right now, really need to do a review right now, otherwise nobody's gonna see my video kind of things. Uh, so this little this little pile of, of other games just keeps getting shoved to the side, to the back, put on the back burner, oh, I'll do it next week, oh, I'll do it next week. Well, it's finally time, finally time for me to look at Vintage Story. Thank you so much for your patience, uh, developers of Vintage Story. Ready to take a look at it now. Uh, this is basically a first look. I've kind of looked through the wiki and I did jump in and just kind of walk around for a few minutes, but I haven't tried actually playing it. As you can tell by looking at it, this one is very similar in appearance and also in gameplay to Minecraft, but it is more like uh, Minecraft Terra Firma Craft, the mod, than vanilla Minecraft. It's a lot more complicated, you have to work a lot harder to kind of make tools and progress through technology and stuff like that. Uh, I talked a little bit to the developer who sent me this copy. And my first question was, uh, why should people play this game instead of playing Terraformcraft on Minecraft? And this game does seem to have some advantages over Minecraft. The engine is just seems to be better designed. It runs better. If so, if you have an older computer and you have trouble running Minecraft, this one runs better. You can have much bigger maps and stuff like that without all the lag that you get in Minecraft. It's also got a lot of built-in tools like a cinematic camera and tool tips. And um, just, it seems generally easier to get into and to use without having to mod mod it like crazy, which you kind of have to do with Minecraft to get a lot of basics done. Um, and it does also support mods. See this mod manager here. I haven't looked into any mods. I don't know if there are any, any important mods that exist yet. I'm just gonna take a look at the vanilla game for today. So essentially it's a survival game. Um, I think let's create a new world. So I think I, I made this one already. Iris Kingdom Lands. I like it. Let's, let's, let's go with that. So wilderness survival. No permanent light sources. Being in the dark will hurt you. Oh, good. No, not that. Not implemented yet anyway. Okay. Survive and build. I think this is standard. Permanent light sources. Being in the dark won't hurt you. Easier health recovery. Hunger bar. Slow block, block breaking. Normal monsters. Normal automated tools. Work in progress. This is an alpha, by the way, or an early access. Um, it's not finished yet. They're still, they're constantly working on this, I think. And there's survive and automate. Not implemented yet. And then there's a creative. They do have creative mode with actually a lot more building tools than Minecraft has, so that's a good thing. Uh, world height, I'll just leave it at 256 blocks. Allow cheats, sure. Let's allow cheats. World seed, we'll just le let it be random. And let's jump in and see how long, first of all, how long does it take to create a world? In Minecraft, it can take a few minutes, especially with something like Terraform Craft, which is modded. So this gives a lot more detail about what it's doing, which is nice. Minecraft just kind of gives you that brown screen. It's like, you gotta wait. Wait until it's not, oh, that's it. Go to starter guard. I already have that open on the other screen actually. So we'll close that. Select your outfit. This is a new version, by the way. Um, look at me, I'm blue. <laughs> Short cape, mantle. Oh my goodness, there's all, there's all this clothes and stuff now. I don't think there were any player models when I played it before. Like this, no hat, no hat for me. I can wear gloves. Well, I think I'll, I'll go without gloves. Ha, ah, I love it. All right, confirm selection. And I think, oh, I had a little bit of frame lag there for a second. I see some animals over there, it looks like goats. Let's see, oh, look how beautiful actually, I have to say. Um, wow, terrain generation, very nice. Moving around here, it's like some mountain goats. I don't think I want to be up on this mountain. No, it doesn't tell me any information when I just look at this animal. Um, <laughs> you're walking on the air then, there, friend. All right, I don't think I want to try to, to hunt any animals or anything like that. I think that's clay, actually. <gasps> oh! Oh, that hurt. See, I've got my red health bar there. I did not mean to walk off the edge. That looks like clay, though. I know I'm going to need clay. And I think these are crops, matured carrots. Break them. And I get carrots and carrot seeds. Nice. Cool. Okay, so walking around is the same controls as Minecraft. Space to jump, E for inventory, right? J for journal. Okay. 
I'm not sure what that does. C for character slots. Okay, so this is my clothes and things like that. V for coordinates. So you can just have your coordinates up on the screen. You can just toggle that off and on. That's nice. Uh, shift to sneak. Ooh, look at that. You get a little animation going up and down. A little bit slower. G to sit. <laughs> you can just sit down on the ground. And then moving picks you back up. Uh, tab open and closes the chat dialog. T to type in the chat dialog box. Left mouse to break stuff. Right mouse to place and use stuff. Okay. Q to drop your currently held item. Same as Minecraft. And then there's uh, screenshot mode. F4, F5, first and third person. There I am. Look at me. Look at me. Cool. Uh, F12 to screenshot and control alt F12 take a mega screenshot at double resolution. Very cool. All right um, So I need to find apparently I need to find rocks like these. Is this rock or is it it's granite stone? Okay Apparently if you find flint you can make better tools. What's this? Turnips still growing. I'll leave those there I guess. I need to find food. Is that bamboo? I need to find rocks to make tools with. Ooh, the controls are a little bit, like the, the speed of movement and stuff is a bit different than Minecraft. It's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, I do like there's like all these particle effects that get left behind, slowly disappear. It's just nice looking overall. Yeah, bamboo requires a tool tier one stone to break, okay. Looks like we have uh, like a cave over here. I don't know what, what this game has got for monsters and stuff. If it's like Minecraft where it has uh, zombies and stuff at night or how that works. Let's get a bunch of rocks here. Maybe... Oh, I'm like down in a valley now. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Look at these trees! Oh, I like the trees very much. Okay, I think this one's flint, right? Flint. Flint apparently makes better tools that last longer. So I'm gonna try to find flint if possible. I see water over here. Presumably I'm gonna need water. There's clay right here. This looks like a nice little spot. Maple leaves. We oh got maple leaves, maple leaves. And you notice at the top, built into the game, it does have that sort of, oh, what's that? Is this something I need to be careful of? Got here. All the different rocks. Oh, it's a boar. It's a wild boar. I'm gonna leave you alone, wild boar. I don't wanna bother you. Okay, so we've got some water here. Very nice. And we got, was this like some wheat? Mature rye. Pick that up, why not? Don't get much inventory space. Inventory is already full. Look at this. Medium fertility soil. You gotta worry about the fertility of the soil. Fortunately, it tells you what the fertility is just by looking, so that's helpful at least. Okay, so now to make my first tools, I need a handful of stones. Let's start with the flint. And you need to shift. I'm looking at the wiki here. You need to shift right click on solid ground. There we go. And it opens this GUI. And you can actually choose the tool you want to make. I think I want to make an axe first so I can chop down some of these trees. And then check this out. It just tells you, you just click on all the highlighted ones. You don't have to memorize anything. You still get the interactivity of doing the thing without the constant need to look stuff. I mean, once you know the controls, I think you won't need to worry about wikis and stuff so much. It just kind of tells you what to do and then you do it. Boom. So now I've got what's on the ground. <laughs> kind of spinning around in circles, actually. Uh, let's drop some of these stones. Axe head, okay. And now I think I need a stick to combine with this. Uh, let's drop these as well. I think I get sticks from breaking some of these, something like that. I can't break this. I think I can find, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, find sticks by breaking some of these, yeah, these heavier looking ones. They've got sticks in them. Cool, so I've got a stick, and now I think, I'm assuming, you can just do this. Yes, I got an axe. I did it. I made an axe. Me. Now we can cut down the tree, holding down the left mouse button. And it does cut down the whole tree, at least with the bamboo. Uh, let's go see if it cuts down the whole tree if we if we get a bigger tree like this. Like a maple tree. Oh, I hear noises. Was that the pig? I think it's the wild boar. I hope that wild boar's not gonna get aggressive and... Oh my goodness, this is taking a while, huh? Well, I'm hoping that this means it's cutting the whole tree down. It's just taking a while because it's... Yes! Oh, look at that! Cool! 
goodness. I think a pig is getting hurt. Where is that? Or is it a bird? I have my, my volume turned down fairly low on my speaker so that my microphone doesn't pick up the uh, game sound, of course. But, oh, man. Some, something's going on. Okay. Um, well, anyway, I don't have the inventory space for, <laughs> for anything now. I don't have any more flint. So let's make a... Uh, come on. No? Oh, it's quartz. I guess I can't use quartz. Let's try... Can I use this? There we go. No. I want to... No, it's just putting them down. Hmm. The wiki gave me the impression that you can use any stones to make tools. But apparently not, folks. Apparently not. Apparently I need the flint. So... If it's like that, I better go looking for some more flint. Oh wait, is there an animal up there? Is that... Was that you what we just heard? Oh, little baby piggy! Oh my goodness, this is adorable! Look at that tiny piggy! Are you missing your mommy? What happened to your mom? No, don't, don't get lost in the water. I just want to... I'm trying to help! Oh my goodness, I just chased that little piggy to its death. I feel like a monster now. I'm a monster. Um... Anyway, oh, we can walk through, we can walk through the leaves, you notice that? Can actually walk through the leaves, that's cool, it just slows you down a little bit. Okay, so the next step, um, yeah, I need to find some more flint, I guess. Cause I'm gonna need, oh, this is heartbreaking, I can't listen to this sound. Uh, we've got plenty of wood, and we need to make a campfire, actually, I think. I can make a campfire. Okay, I can make logs. And I know I need a knife. I need... So I do need to find, I guess, one more piece of flint. There's a cave down there. I'm not gonna mess with the cave just yet. I'm gonna look for more flint. Native copper. Ooh, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need this. So... Gotta remember this spot right here. We don't have a mini-map, but I do have that. The coordinates there. It even tells you which way you're facing. Oh, there's some ore right there. There's another pig down there. Right now, I'm just looking for flint on the ground. I think I need a knife to get grass. And then with the grass and the logs, I can make a campfire so that... Um... Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I think it's starting to get dark. It is starting to get dark. It's a little tough that you have to specifically find flint, though. There's some more copper there. It seems like copper is not that rare. So hopefully I'll be all right. No flint, no flint. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Just jump right out of the water like that. Um, need flint. I see chickens over there. Is this flint over here? Can I double? No, I can't double tap to run. Okay, this has got to be flint, right? Flint. Oh, thank goodness. Flint, flint, flint. Give me all the flint, please. Um, I need a knife blade. Oh, this is, I'm gonna be- I'm running out of time now. I gotta be quick, quick, quick. Can I just click and hold? I can, but it's kind of laggy. It's better to keep clicking just fast. Oh, goodness. I have to say, uh, in this sense, I preferred the way this is done in Terra Farmacraft. Because at least you don't have to click on so many of these little pixels. Okay, um, let's drop that. Let's make a knife. Uh, let's drop the seeds. I don't need the seeds right now. And then I can use the knife to get grass. I think I need maybe taller grass. I don't think there are monsters at night. I don't think there's like zombies and stuff. All right, did I get... Oh, I need to... I gotta figure out a more efficient way to... There we go, there's dry grass. All right, so now to make a campfire. It's not that dark. Maybe I'll try to head back to my little camp. How do I? Oh, control lets me run, okay. But it doesn't toggle. So I'm gonna have to hold that down. It's a little bit awkward. There may be a way to toggle running that I don't know about, but I don't know about it. Let's get... I'm glad I found that big patch of flint, so that helps a lot. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be too, too dark. 
and uh, it does seem to be that there are not any monsters of night. I prefer that, really. The the, the monsters in Minecraft are kind of shoehorned in there. Just kind of like, oh, we need something challenging. How about monsters? Okay, here's my spot. Here's my spot. It's where I wanted to set up camp. So let's see. Oh, I have bread for food. Okay. So, like this. Got a shift. There we go. And it lights itself automatically. You don't have to light it. So that puts out a little bit of light to help us get through get through the night. It's lovely. I do like the particle effects. Those are those are really nice. We get like a nice view here. <laughs> This is cool. Um, uh, I do like this so far. It's kind of like, like a really well-made Minecraft mod pack. Um, but the mod pack itself changes the game engine so that it runs better. I can, I do feel that it runs better. I have to say, um, I do have a pretty good computer. I don't usually have too much trouble with Minecraft, but I do get those little frame drops and stuff pretty regularly, and that doesn't seem to be happening here. So hooray for that. Uh, maybe I can use up. This knife, getting grass, some bamboo all over the ground. I don't know if stuff despawns. Presumably it will despawn eventually. But I don't know. Let's pick up some grass there. I kind of want to like wear out one one knife. Now as for inventory space, inventory is obviously really tiny. However, those four slots in the bottom right are for containers, which I can eventually make. This is good. Um, it looks like I'm getting kind of hungry, actually. I should probably eat something. I eat one of these carrots. Om nom nom. Oh, wow. I need more than that. By the way, yeah, we can put uh, sticks in the fire pit. And it'll make torches for us. I think the torches put out a lot more light. Can, can I can just leave it there? You can see how much brighter it is with the torch. Let me just plop that down there. Oh, they don't actually light up that much once you put them down, though. Interesting. Uh, bamboo. We don't have a JEI though, so I don't know what I can make out of the bamboo. Uh-oh. Uh, can I just put a log in there? Yeah, there we go. There's some torches. Put some torches around, just light up the area a little bit. Yeah, it is, it's dimmer. <laughs> it is dimmer. I'm just gonna throw it in the water. I don't think I need these for anything that I'm aware of. Um, the torches get dimmer when you put them down than if you just carry them around. That is interesting. That is interesting. Put some more wood in there. Actually, I might as well just drop all the wood in there, right? It's not like I need the wood for something else. Okay, so uh, we should probably make a couple more stone tools. Now that we're kind of settled here. Uh, I'd like to make a spearhead. Oh dear. And we can put some of these piggies out of their misery. Apparently this is a pretty decent weapon. You can throw it and it also has a long melee. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna die. And I'm dead. <laughs> Respawn or rage quit. Oof, I wasn't expecting that. Why are you attacking me, Piggy? You didn't attack me before. I guess it took me too long to, uh, to make that spear. If I respawn, it's gonna put, it's gonna put me right back where I was in the first place. My camp is way down there, and I hear Piggies again! So I'm not sure, what is the, uh, the green bar at the bottom right there? What's this here? Cow parsley. It's just pretty, I guess. Oh, look, you can see my camp from up here. That's actually really lovely. Wow. Um, and yeah, very impressive that you can see at that deep, that level of detail from way up here. Very nice. I'm tempted to just kind of hang out here until morning so I can see a little bit better and then carry on. And there is our friend the sun. Folks, I just wanted to wait up here until sunrise and just get a nice shot of, uh, of this lovely land in the daylight before we head back down and get our stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just leaving I'm just leaving it stationary just to get a nice view of the sun. I think this will probably make a good uh, a good closing sequence for my end cards and things like that. This is just lovely. Um, I do have to I do have to admit, this game is a lot prettier than Minecraft, I think. Like just base Minecraft. I I, I just feel like it's uh, more work has been put into the aesthetics of this game. All right, let's take control again. Hate, hate to leave this beautiful, beautiful view, but uh, it is time to go back down. I'm also thinking as I've been standing up here, waiting for the sun to rise, watching the stars go through the sky and the, the grass wave in the breeze. So lovely. Um, I was thinking, let's bring my crosshair back up. This area over here looks a lot more habitable than over here with all these hills and, and canyons and stuff. So if I can find my way back down, um, 
hopefully without falling this time, and get my stuff. Actually, this is going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? Don't know that there's an easy way down over here. I think I'm kind of overhanging I'm on a cliff here. Um, I had to eat some more of my bread, and I don't really have much food left. So here's hoping I find some more food soon. Definitely going to have to go and look for some more. I've also, I, I spent some of the evening uh, and the night just kind of looking at... There's more clay. Should I grab some clay? No, I'll, it seems like clay is not that hard to find. I'll grab some clay down there, maybe. Um, but yeah, just looking at the wiki. Cut parsley. These carrots are done. Let's grab these. These are not done. We'll leave those alone. What have we got over here? Is that copper? Oh, it's native copper. Look at that. Uh, you need to make a some some tools out of copper before you can mine copper, though. This is uh, this is all very similar to ooh soybeans. Nice. This is all very similar to uh, Terra Firma Craft. Those of you who play Terra Firma Craft will know what I'm talking about. Those of you who haven't, um, if this looks interesting to you and you have Minecraft already and you don't want to quite splurge on a new game just yet, you may enjoy Terra Firma Craft. Um, Look it up. It's pretty easy to find, I think. Ooh, twist the mangle a little bit there. All right, let's head back down. I don't have any any weapons now. <laughs> I don't know if that pig is still down here guarding my stuff. I did look up, the, by the way, that apparently torches will go out after three days. There's my stuff, okay. So, um, you want to, actually, I'm gonna toss down the seeds and maybe the bamboo. I'm gonna get some more wood because apparently I can craft containers. No, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be taking ages to cut down, let's get let's get a whole tree here, like this one right here. Uh, you can make containers. You can make portable containers, but those are a little bit more difficult. You can also just make basic chests out of the logs and stuff. And the wiki for this game does have a page just with all the game recipes, so. Um, it would be nice if it had some kind of JEI style something, have to admit. Uh, it seems like a lot of thought was went into making making this game a little more user-friendly. So I'm a little surprised that, um, that they didn't include something like that. However, uh, I know that I need... Hold on, let's, just, let's, let's finish this. I know I need to hit this with another rock. Um... I need planks to make a chest to put stuff in. And I'm actually not sure. <laughs> of course. Of course. Let's just throw this torch down. Spearhead. And I don't have any sticks. Oh, I need to make a chest somehow. I need to make a chest. Uh, and I don't know how to do that. Can I? No, I didn't think it was going to be that simple. Let me check the wiki for a second. Hold on, folks. Okay, so apparently in order to make planks, I need a saw for which I need copper. So I cannot make planks yet. So that, unfortunately, is out the window. However, if I can find some reeds, which apparently can be found in the water in some places, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to put these down here for now. Uh, let's go see if I can find some reeds somewhere. Or I don't know, maybe... If I, if I can find reeds, then I can make an extension on my my inventory for walking around. So it does seem like it would be worth finding. I'm just kind of torn over whether I should uh, spend time doing that now or whether I should just head directly across across the lake there. It's not here. And just head to that area that I actually want to settle in. Look at this, there's ferns over here. So beautiful. And it does have, by the way, like uh, biomes and climate and things like that. So you can see we've, we've got the, the bamboo here. When we go to different places, we'll have different types of trees and stuff. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and head across the lake. Maybe I'll have better luck with this sort of stuff over there in that area. Let's see more copper here. I will certainly remember that copper is easy to find over here. I don't know if I should be doing all this running or if I'm using up my hunger or what. Um, Alright, so what do I want to take with me? I kind of want to take the torches with me? Yeah, let's take the torches with me. And... I don't think I need the seeds and stuff. It doesn't seem like it's too tough to find these things. 
I don't know if it's a good idea to go swim straight across. I know that I can go under the water. Look at that. This is seaweed. Okay. Looks like you can just kind of hold forward. You don't have to hold the spacebar like you do in Minecraft. And you swim a lot faster. Oh, that's so cool. You swim a lot faster if you go kind of under. So cool. Oh, I like that. I also like that you can actually see underwater. However, I don't see a oxygen meter. Maybe it's not implemented yet? Can I hold my breath forever, maybe? <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm just- I'm in a constant state of- Oh, look at this beautiful world. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we're over here, and I gotta find a way out of the water, of course. Uh, here we go. Get out right here. And... Oh no, I can't. Okay. Phew! Out! Uh, and these are reeds. Use knife. Using knife. And... I think I'll go ahead and drop... Oh no! Oh yeah, that was just grass, okay. Yeah, there's the reeds. So... I thought they grew in the water, they grow next to the water, it seems. I think I need five of these? What's this? Cow parsley. Oh, there's tons of them. I'm like looking right past them. Four... Five... And I think, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm not looking at the recipe right now. Oh no, that's not... okay. Hold on a sec. Alright, this is interesting, folks. Um, I had the pattern right. However... Something that this game does, that Minecraft obviously does not do, is, um... I need to stack the items in the crafting grid. There we go. So what I need to do is like this. There we go. Hand basket. And that can go in there. And now I've got two extra slots in my inventory. So for example, uh, right now I don't need the carrots and the soybeans. I can put them away. Cool. There are two other inventory crafting items I can make. Oh wow, look at this. Look at these planes. I'm oh, sorry you guys. I'm like, I'm going all... Oh, look how cute everything is again. So I see more, more pigs down there. I'm gonna be careful of them now that I know they can get aggressive. And it looks like goats over here. So, uh, to make the backpack, which presumably gives you a lot more space... Oh, there's berry bushes here. Perfect. Perfect. You can also pick these up and carry them, but since I want to settle here, I think I'm just gonna... Uh, leave them here. So that I don't have to wait for them to regrow. And I get ten red currants. I'm not a big fan of currants, but, uh... You know, when you're trying to survive, you don't complain about things like that. There's some copper here. Perfect. And... Oh, that's a bush. No, I wanted, uh, branches, please. Need branches. This is gonna be the problem of being over in the plains here. These are branches, right? Branchy leaves. Perfect. I don't think there's a way to make... Uh... Spear. I don't think there's a way to make sticks. I think you have to break the branches. There may, there may be a way later. Cool. Um, I tell you what, folks, I know that I am running out of time now, and I don't feel at all finished with this. I am having a good time. I really want to see what else this game has to offer. I am impressed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this will be part one, and I'll do at least a part two, and then we'll see how it goes from there. I know that the game doesn't have a massive amount of content yet, because it is still really quite early uh, in, its, in its development. But, uh, well done so far to the devs. Thank you very, very much for, for providing this copy and also for your patience, as it took me forever to get to it. So sorry about that, but uh, it was worth the wait for sure. I'm loving this. And, oh, there's a pig. Should I, should I risk it, you guys? Let's, let's, let's get a big finale. Let's get a big finale. Back away. I don't, it doesn't show how much health the pig has. Ooh, ooh, it got me. Back away. Ooh, it got me again. Doing like a, like a, oh, I got it! Yes! Sweet! Alright, um, oh my goodness. Fat is important for lamps. Ah! I don't know what to drop. Tell you what, folks, I'm gonna eat. 
I'm gonna eat the carrots. Because I'm starving. Gonna hurt. I get the rawhide. And I'll eat the berries as well. Um. And then whatever I have left over. Oh, I may even eat all of them. I may eat all of these. So I got my first leather. Things are going well. Raw meat, and I can cook this in the campfire. Okay. Uh, yeah, so watch out for part two. Part two is definitely coming. Um, I know it's a hard sell to try to persuade people that a game that's this similar to Minecraft is worth getting, but I will, I will reiterate, if you have a potato of a computer and you want to play something like Minecraft but your computer just can't handle all the modded stuff, this one runs really well. It runs really well. And it's beautiful. It's clearly very well made. Well done to the devs. Thumbs up from me. I'll be playing more of this. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!